This is 220 watts of bifacial solar panel. As they are laying down like that, they're generating power just fine. However, to get the most power from the sun, you want the solar panel to be perpendicular to the direction of the sun. That's why this case is gonna be awesome. Watch how I make this case the stand. You see, this is the back piece. This is the sturdy piece right here. So what we're gonna do is slide this down through here and attach here. Boom. Attach it to one port right there. That's one eyelid. Another carabiner over here. Connect this to this eyelid right here. Boom. All right, we got two more. So what we're gonna do is just like this. All right, so we're gonna push the solar panel out and then we're gonna prop up this piece in the back over here. Loop this around here and loop into this over there. One more carabiner right there and into this eyelid over here. Boom, there we go. So now that's in and it's gonna lean back onto the case right here. This is how the case operates. You see, we have some shades here. So the cool thing about this case is you can adjust the angle by zipping up the side of the case. So we got some zippers on the side of the case right here. You see these zippers over here and we got the same zippers on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to zip them up like this. So as I zip them up, you'll see they will make the solar panel more vertical. Zip, 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 zip. We'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now once that's zipped up, you can see how our solar panel is now propped up at a better angle. So there we go now. Our solar panel is propped up, 220 watt by facial solar panel. And if you notice in this configuration, the sun is hitting the solar panel on the front face, that's generating power, but also the sun's bouncing off the wall and bouncing off the ground. And guess what? It's hitting the back of the solar panel because the back of solar panel is more solar surfaces. So that's why it's called bifacial solar panel, 220 watt. Now I'm curious, do you think this is gonna generate more power than what we had before? Remember before we was on the ground, we had about 190 watt of solar input. Let's see what we get right now. Let's go back to our EcoFlow power hub right here. We got about 135. So see, it's about 140, not as optimal as before. And that's just because the sun is not optimized in our little area right here. But of course, now you understand the flexibility of adjusting the angle on the case to find the best sun for you. This is the EcoFlow 220 watt bifacial solar panel right here.